A New Mexico family thought they found their dream home to rent after finding it on Craigslist, but once they moved in, things quickly took a turn for the worse. Target 7's John Cardinelli sat down with the family to hear their nightmare and how you can avoid it from happening to you. Taos, New Mexico's landscapes make it one of the most sought after spots to live in in the state of New Mexico. I grew up in this house. <laughs> and currently, the Hernandez family is calling we Taos home. Photo. We took this photo over there at, uh, in Santa Fe at the cathedral. The couple has four children. Robert, that's my youngest. And then the next one is Sophia. She's my middle. And then we have Jimmy, which is her only baby. And then my oldest, which is Isabella. And the family, who is normally filled <laughs> yeah. with so much joy. It's always fun. We have a blast. Recently had that joy ripped away. It breaks my heart to do that to innocent children. And my kids are very upset. They talk about it every day. How can someone do that to us, mom? The trouble started when the family was looking to rent a new home. Because all the gang and the violence going on in Española, we need to move out of there. After searching for hours on their phones, I found it on Craigslist. The doormat to their perfect home lay right in front of them. Like a dream come true, basically, like a fairy tale. That gentleman that set us up for 1550, I think is what it was, in Albuquerque. They quickly jumped on the opportunity and contacted the landlord listed on the Craigslist ad, who said the home was available. As far as the way he asked for payments, we didn't think anything different. The family signed a lease for the home sight unseen. According to a complaint filed with the state's attorney general, they sent $3,000 to the landlord to account for a month's rent, application fees, and a security deposit. They paid some of it through Apple gift cards and also through PayPal, which has a friends and family option. He texts me and he's basically stated to send it through friends and family so they get the money faster. After sending the money, they signed this lease. Now remember, they never met this landlord in person and they still have not yet been to the home. But the time came for them to get their keys. And this is where things got weird. He says, so there's a lockbox. He says, I believe it's still there. So I went to the lockbox and I said, well, how do I get to the lockbox? He says, okay, hold on. The landlord then told Shana to go to AmericanHomesForRent.com and told her to sign up to take a tour of the home, which he said would allow them to access a temporary key. And I asked for my driver's license, a picture of myself, and, um, and it had me like sign an agreement. And then finally, and my email popped up that I had a code. Shayna entered the code into the lockbox and out pops a set of keys. The landlord told her they were temporary keys and that he would drop their new set of keys off later. So out came the boxes and the family started moving into the home. So I told my husband that I said, I'm not feeling right. There's something going on. Shayna's gut instinct was right out. because the very next day. And we found that letter on the door. That letter is right here. It appears to be from American Homes for Rent. It even has their logo right here on the top. It tells the family that American Homes for Rent owns and manages the property, that American Homes has no record of a lease with the family, and so the family needs to leave immediately, that if they're not gone in two days, the authorities will be contacted. So Shana texted the landlord, or at least the person she thought was the landlord from the Craigslist ad. You scammed us. I said, how could you do that? I have children. I was like, what's wrong with you? And I tried calling him and it was blocked. With no response and a notice from American Homes for Rent to vacate, the family's dream of a new life was crushed. Target 7 looked up who owns the property and found the owners to be American Homes for Rent. Like I was telling my wife, that's not right. That's not right for somebody to come in and just take somebody else's property. We just got to go. This is the lease they signed. Does that look legitimate to you when you sort of thumb through it? Well, I mean, the paper is only as good as the diligence behind it. This is subject to fraud, then it doesn't mean anything. New Mexico's Attorney General Hector Balderas says these types of scams are becoming more common in New Mexico. We've seen an increase in this type of fraudulent activity. People are becoming more and more vulnerable because they're doing more and more commerce online. So how do you prevent falling victim to a rental scam? First, the Attorney General recommends you avoid ads that seem too good to be true. If the ad displays a sense of urgency, you should be wary. Secondly, always meet the landlord in person. Avoid strictly communicating through text and email. And finally, be smart about how you pay. Don't send money through friends and family and never use gift cards as a form of payment. Well, I welcome this family to reach out to me and we'll get to the bottom of this. The Hernandezes have filed a complaint with the attorney general. After they were scammed, they then noticed this ad on Facebook trying to rent the same home. 
So Target 7 tried calling the landlord listed on the Facebook ad. And no one answered. We're sorry, this person is not available right now. So we left a message. We haven't Kelly heard back. Action 7 News he in pulled the right strings at the right time, played the right tune for us. He helped make that bed for us to fall into. The Hernandez family you know, for now is oh, stuck yeah, in Taos at Ben's parents' house. I want him to get caught. I just want my money back. They unfortunately can't get their money back through PayPal. Remember how we told you the scammer told them to pay through PayPal's friends and family option? Turns out that kind of payment is not eligible for reimbursement according to PayPal's buyer protection program. And it hurts because we basically did it for our children. Well, the pain of being scammed still lingers. Like I went through a big depression. I cried every single day and I feel like it's my fault. The Hernandezes are truly finding home doesn't always come with an address. Nothing is ever set in stone. For Target 7. We always have fun. I'm John Cardinelli. All right, well, they're keeping a good outlook there. Well, Target 7 reached out to American Homes for rent about the situation, and they told us they were surprised to hear about the scam on the Hernandez family, but said they have no connection to these scammers and only limited ability to stop scammers from using their properties as bait. In a statement, they said this, although American Homes for Rent does not provide comment on specific incidents, we do have a range of tools in place to counter and reduce the risk of rental scams occurring at our properties. We do not list on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, and other sites where fraud is most prevalent.